Hey guys, how's it going? This is Rory from Rate My Funeral. That was Rate, by the way. Uh, quick tutorial, quick tip thing. Uh, normally my tutorials take around about four and a half days uh, to sit and watch. So I'm um, going to do a sharp, smart, little, dinky, dinky little thing. Um, this one is off the back of the last tutorial, which was the ball pit with the text flying out of it. Someone said to me, oh, that would be really cool if it inflated itself first. And I said, ah, that's a good idea. I'll give it a try. So I kind of came up with, with this after playing around for a bit like so and then I filled it up with balls and then I think it was too much for it so it burst there we go cool so that's what we're going to go and play uh, play that's what we're going to go and make uh, really quickly uh, but without all the extra stuff just the inflatable bit yeah I'm looking really pale what's going on anyway right <clears throat> um, okay okay let me get concentrated here right the first thing we're going to do is create the um the rubber ring uh, now as this was in the last tutorial i'm not going to cover this in depth so we're just going to make the rubber ring like so uh, set the display to grid lines there we go we can see what we're doing make a copy of the torus uh, raise that up a bit shrink it down a bit down and then uh put that into a bull like so Dum -dum. doesn't matter which order because we're setting the ball to union and creating a single object then hit C and we have our torus which we're going to call rubber ring fantaka right now we'll just raise that up a little bit uh, and give it a simulation rigid body for now that's all we're worried about now obviously that just falls so we need a floor. Now we could just build a floor and do all of that, but I might as well use Infidio, seems as it's awesome. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm going to use Infidio Pro, seems as that's coming out, uh, should be within the next week or so. Um, that way we, all of this, the dynamics tags for the floor is already set up. I mean, you can make a floor, add the tags to it. If, you, if you've got this far, I'm sure you've done that in the past. So, um, But just Infidio does all of that side of things for you. Uh, the only thing I want to do is go into the Infidio and then go to Physics and I'm just going to turn the floor bounciness up a little bit because that way it'll um, look a bit cooler when our rubber ring is sitting on it. Um, rubber ring... Right, let's just make sure that that's playing. Cool, okay. The rubber ring, we're going to set that up so it's a bit boingy. Um, so first of all we'll go to Collision on the tag for rubber ring and set the bounce to 100 then we are going to go to soft body and we're going to set here structural is 100 correct uh, shear 0 flexion 100 stiffness 100 okay and then if we rewind and press play boing 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 that's cool what we haven't done though is actually turned on the soft body so soft body made of polygons and lines there we go and now boing boing there we go uh, if you want to check that that's actually working okay, just create a cylinder. We did this in the other tutorial, but I'll just do this now, just because I think this looks really cool. Um, and just stretch that out, lift it up a bit, uh, rewind, make sure that they're not intersecting. Great. Uh, simulation rigid body, and just press play. Boing. Boing. Wicked. That's awesome. Right. So we have our rubber ring uh, and it's bouncing around. Um, we're just going to move it. I don't want it in the floor, but I just want it slightly closer to the floor. There we go. Um, right. Let's just have a quick look and see what we've got. Um, by the way, it's worth mentioning in, while this is rendering, Infidio Pro includes the lighting rig. So you notice I haven't had to do any lighting yet. I've got shadows. Um, but I am just going to go in because this is still the beta version and turn on the fill shadow and then that way it should uh, just look a little bit smarter there we go right so that's our rubber ring excellent um, the next thing we're going to do is rewind to the beginning we're gonna deflate it all right so this is the bit where it goes a bit funny and this will kill your processing time but that's cool right so structural we set that to one uh, flexion zero and then stiffness um, 0 0.1 now obviously these numbers aren't the be all and end all of everything but this is what I found to work um, let's do a rewind and press play and this should now just crumple up into a nice little pile on the floor there we go and the reason for the slow calculation time is this stiffness 
it's really really uh, eats into it when that's set really low so uh, we'll just let that sit for a minute now one of the things you'll see here is obviously this is all a bit jaggedy uh, if we render that out see it looks a bit wrong now that might work if you were making maybe like a tin foil hot air balloon or something I don't know um, but in this case we want it to look like rubber so that doesn't work so all we do is grab a hypernerbs and place the rubber ring inside of it because the tag is on the ring that's inside of the hypernerbs it's not trying to process all of these polygons it just smooths it out so our calculation time isn't really increased very much but we can see that that looks pretty damn close to rubber so that's wicked uh, we'll just let that play a little bit more just let it also sit out a little bit that seems fairly happy now that we've got that we're going to set the initial state so we go to the tag dynamics set initial state and now we can rewind now here's a weird thing the first frame always shows it inflated and in the floor the second frame shows it how it should be I don't know quite why this is I've just chosen to ignore frame zero that's that's the way to deal with problems if you've got a problem the best way to deal with it is just to ignore it and it probably will go away so uh, we've done that that's great <clears throat> um, we have our rubber ring uh, sitting on the floor so now we want to animate it uh, inflating now this is the bit that you've got to be a little bit careful with um, if we go to customization layout animation um, we can see uh, the uh, timeline and everything so this just makes it a little bit better, easier for this bit uh, going to give ourselves a few more frames so let's put 200 frames in there there we go and we'll just zoom out a bit so we can see a bit more of what we're doing and move that across okay so frame one is the one we're interested in um, I'll just quickly show you this if oh, one of us just got an email um, um, we need to go to somewhere Dynamics tags, yes, if you're going to put anything in the middle of this, by the way, you must remember to set the shape to moving mesh. There we go. If you have it automatic, things will sit on an invisible lid. Okay, soft body, this is the one we're playing with. So, uh, stiffness. There's a very good reason why we put this to 0, 0.1. Um, but let me just show you. If we go to um, go from 0 0.1, set a keyframe, control, and click the button there and then go up to, I don't know, say frame 35 and set this to 100 bomb, like that, set the keyframe, rewind now what will happen is it will start off really slowly calculating but then suddenly it will pop up and there you go, it's now made it so that's great if you want to do a really quick inflation it's absolutely fine, but generally you want it to kind of look like it's inflating and the way things tend to do that, in my mind, if you're inflating an airbed or one of these or something like that, it looks like it's not doing too much and then suddenly at the last minute there's quite a bit. So um, we want to last that out a bit. This, so this is why we're using 0 point, uh, 0 0.1. So let me just undo that. So basically, um, we'll undo setting that keyframe altogether for the minute and we'll come back to stiffness. First, firstly though, let's go to frame 1 and set a keyframe for structural and flexion and then we'll go to frame let's say 100 and set structural to 100 and we'll set flexion to 100 and stick a keyframe on those now if you play this this is going to be really slow because obviously the stiffness is staying at this but what will happen is it will kind of look like it's trying to inflate you see but it will never fully get its complete shape see it just smooths it out a bit and it kind of starts to almost look right if we have a look there it's kind of going a bit pastry like but this to me is exactly right this is exactly what we want so basically um, at around about I don't know 35 let's say the stiffness will animate that up to frame 95 from 0.1 to 0.9 so the stiffness is really subtle and then we'll do like a final big pop if we just have a look at that so again it starts off it's pretty slow because of this stiffness but once it gets to this kind of point here it will start speeding up a lot here we go so we'll see this number starts to go up and it will start to take its shape there we go so it's now the air is going inside of it there we go and there so that's now inflated 
But now what I like is just having a little kick at the end, um, just so that it kind of bops up a little bit, because it just looks cool. Now, um, you've got to be a bit careful here. There's another thing you have to pay attention to, the stiffness. If you now set another keyframe up here, say, to 100, what it'll do is it will get rid of that, that 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 calculation, and it will just make that 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And it just doesn't work properly. So the way you have to, what you have to do to get around this is the next frame after stiffness, keyframe a 1. Then go forward, I don't know, a few more frames, and keyframe 100. So then what that's doing is it does this, I'm pointing to the screen. Why do I always point to the screen? So if you watch this number here, see that's keeping with the zero, and then at this point it changes to a one and then it goes up really quickly. So therefore it takes its shape and kind of does a nice bounce. So we'll have a look at that and see how that looks. Make sure it's all good. Here we go, it's speeding up, speeding up. Bop, 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 bop. Right, and then that's now going up, so that's looking like it's inflating. And there it goes, and a little kick at the end, boom. That just makes it bounce a little, which I think is cool. And obviously, this technique works on sort of, well, I assume anything. Um, I don't know if it would work on a cow. But uh, like you know, like a ball or something like that, anything that you would think you would inflate, or a balloon, you know, maybe you know, you have a play with it and see how you get on. Um, best thing to do though is once you've, if you're now playing with anything else, um, is hit Control D, uh, go to Dynamics, go to Cache, and hit Bake. <laughs> um, that way you can scrub through your timeline a lot easier. Um, this will take a minute again because it's that slow part of the first, first half. Um, but remember, obviously, once you've baked that simulation, any other dynamics you put in the scene, th this won't be included in this, so you have to clear the cache and then rebake it again. Uh, the other thing to remember is that if you have any, you get some weird things, occasionally it'll explode and you'll get some massive polygons burst out of it. Um, and that's often due to the um, steps per frame. So if you go to expert and set the steps per frame up, um, that will fix that. But it will also really slow down the uh, calculation time. Um, but if we scrub through this now, see, there we go, boom. So we've just made that. You know, and we can uh, have a look and see that that's looking really cool. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll even finish up uh, by going back to layouts, standard. Let's create a quick texture. We'll put it on it, uh, da -da -da -da, on the hypernerbs. Um, something like, let's make it blue. I want a blue rubber ring. Um, turn the specular off. We'll do reflection uh, with a Fresnel. And turn that one down a bit. There we go. So that looks pretty groovy plastic -iness. And look at that. So that's that's your, your inflatable thing. So uh, pretty easy, really. Um, and it does it does look pretty cool um, when it's deflated as well with the reflections because it sits on it. That does look quite plasticky, so I'm quite happy with that. Obviously, it's if you want if you don't want all these jagged edges, um, go to your anti-aliasing and set that up to best, uh, and maybe uh, a little bit of ambient occlusion just makes it look a bit nifty. And there you go. That is it. Oh, that's not the right button. Let me press the right button. Ah, there we are. So there you go. Uh, that was a quick tip. I managed to get that in under 15 minutes. Wow, it's a new record for me. Um, I hope that's useful. Uh, love to see anything you do. Don't forget, come along to ratemyfuneral.com. Have a look around, make some comments, give me some feedback, tell me what you think. If you're interested in NVIDIA, there's loads more information about it on the site. I haven't shut up about it for a couple of weeks now. Um, like I say, Pro's coming out soon. Um, yeah! So I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.